We're Kels and Jay, and after spending eight months to convert a school bus into our very own tiny home on wheels and traveling all around America for the past year, we're ready to downsize and take on van life. <laughs> With an ambitious goal of completing our van build in just 30 days, we have absolutely no time to waste. Join us today as we take on installing the floor, framing, spray foam insulation, and max air fan. Sub falls in, just went and picked up the floor in. You want to see it? No, I'll show you it. Come on, let's go look. The suspense. Ooh, look at that. So in Bessie, obviously we went with the dark. Dark. Excuse me, brain fire. Dark flooring. So now we're going very light. I'm gonna throw it in. I remember doing the bus flooring and it took like no time at all. So let's see how long this takes. Cue the time lapse. Love it or do we love it? I think I love it. So we have a vision for this van. We went lighter on the floor. Cause we're gonna go darker everywhere else. I shouldn't tell them that yet, but I told you. So don't tell anyone else, but that's what we're doing. Done with one thing, on to the next. So now I'm gonna stud out the van. Add strapping to all the ribs, I guess you call them. So there's the roof ribs. Then there's like this big chunky guy here. And then I'm gonna do all these panels. So yeah, it's not really like an interesting thing. I'm just gonna rip down a bunch of plywood and then screw it in with the wood to metal screws. Here we go. <laughs> tips when ripping down like sheet lumber. All right, so I'm ripping this to three and a half inches. That's what that mark was. So you can put your saw in like that, find where your mark is, and then pinch the saw guide like this. So your index finger is rubbing the edge of the plywood. And then all you do is pinch this, and then just run your saw all the way along the edge, making sure you keep your index finger touching the plywood. And that'll give you the perfectly straight cut. <laughs> Look down the edge of that plywood, straight as a table saw with your trusty skill saw. All right, one done, 30 to go. Three, all wrapped up. Pretty happy with today. It was like super hot, but I got like all the messy, boring stuff done. As you can see, the whole van is strapped. I left these bits open. I didn't put any vertical straps because I think what I'm going to do after I've insulated, I'm then going to build boxes into that cavity. But again, that's going to depend on the height the bed comes to and all those different factors. Howdy, folks. So today we're going to be prepping for spray foam insulation using this tape, a good old scotch packaging tape. We prepped the van for insulation by putting tape all over the wood so it would stay clean. All right, team, we're going with the same kit we did the bus with, foam at green, really simple kit. We went with the 600 square foot, so I think we should have plenty. So it's just a case of now getting suited up because last time I got spray foam in my hair and it didn't come out for weeks. <sighs> So important is, I've got it all in my hair. Look, that ain't coming out. This time I'm not gonna wear my hat this way. If I wear it this way, I'm gonna put the hoodie on, I've got the long trousers on, it's gonna be sweaty, but I'm gonna suit up and spray foam this bus. Van. Fuck. Keep saying that. It's a van, not a bus. Van. All right, team. That is it, spray foam. I had a lot left. So I was just shoving the nozzle in every hole I could, filling it. There we go. Looking pretty good. Now, it says to let it set for 24 hours, but I mean, it's solid. So I'm gonna start the cleanup process. Ready for the satisfying part? Woo! Satisfying. Putting the tape over the strips allowed our wood to stay clean. Well, mostly. We scraped off any loose leftover foam, so when we attach anything to it, everything sits flat. Save you hours and hours of work. That's about it for day four. We're done. So we've heard some suggestions about the new name of the van, and we're loving them. So if you guys I have any- I had a good one yesterday. Someone said, obviously the bus was called Bessie, so why not call the van Bessie? Yeah, I thought that was, that was really great. Really so yeah, if you guys have any ideas of what to call the van, let us know. Probably not gonna decide until he's done. He? 
Yeah. What do you mean he? I feel like it's gonna be a boy. It's gonna be a she. <laughs> After fighting over the gender of our van, it was time to put the Max Air fan in, and we decided to put it towards the middle of the van. At least that's something we both could agree on. Cutting a hole in our roof. Holy smokes. First time trying to get on the roof. Oh, what a sketch. Jamie's letting me do the really satisfying part. Ready? I think I might have to get on the roof. All right, guys, the final reveal. The satisfaction. It's like when you got a new phone. Oh, yeah. Max fan is installed. I can see myself. That's pretty much all I have to report here. Jay, do you have anything else to add? Only about two, two and a bit hours on the bus, on the fuck, bus, on the van today. Just keep it like this. Just get a nice tan. What we did in three months on the bus took two days on the van. So I uh, guess we'll be going on the road again probably this weekend. Just kidding. Not that soon, but pretty soon. <laughs>